Hi Sagittarius, today I'm going to be doing a love reading for you guys. I hope you're having a great day today. So we're going to start off with two cards and we're going to see how what's going on here. What's going on with Sagittarius, so guys? What does Sagittarius not know? Like, what's going on under the surface? What does Sagittarius not know? Oh my goodness, it came out again. It literally came out again. Oh, the King of Wands came out this time. What the hell? It was the Queen of Queen of Wands came out the first time with the Hierophant in reverse. And now the King of Wands is coming out with the Hierophant upright. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So what is this energy? What are you trying to... Okay. So it looks like there's a man here. This is a man, a male. He could have long hair. Doesn't matter the style, but he could have long hair. Um, it looks like he's involved with a female that's very jealous. She's very vindictive. She could be very lazy. Um, she threatens this person, lies a lot. She basically spends all this person's money while she keeps her own money. She's a very selfish energy. It looks like there's a man here that has put somebody in check. And they kind of pretty much was like, well, know your place. Like, you don't tell me how to live my life. You don't tell me what to do. You don't always, you know, be jealous of me or, you know, tell me what I can and cannot do, who I can and cannot talk to, where I need to go, what time I need to be back in the house. You don't control me. You don't own me. You're just very jealous. Like, you're very jealous. You get jealous of everything I do. You always got something to say. You're always trying to argue. Listen, I know you're cheating on me, too. You know? Like, you're not faithful. You're not loyal to me. So why does it matter where I go or what I do? I'm always doing the work. I'm the one that's putting food in here. I'm the one that's taking care of you. I'm giving you everything, and you're still not satisfied. Like, there's somebody here that's dealing with somebody that's just very jealous. She's very lazy, ungrateful. Like, this person sits around, does nothing, cheat on this person, but always, always quick to cut the next person this person tries to bring around, or they envy somebody that's loyal or very, this woman is fucking crazy, she could be a redhead, it's like, I feel like there's a man here that has feelings for someone else, they have feelings for someone else, um, they, they feel like they want somebody that's very independent, very stable, she's very beautiful, she could even be very tall, um, very long hair, curly hair, beautiful, she's very independent, she has her own business here, and it's like, she's standing in her power, she's not even worried about these people, she's on her own journey, minding her business, but there's a masculine energy here that's in love. Like, they're burnt out from a situation that they're in. Like, they're not in that, in that situation anymore because they want somebody else. They've got a new spark. They found a new spark here. It's like they, they may try to communicate or... Um, they may have tried to reach out to this Nine of Pentacles, but maybe this person blocked them or has blocked their communication or is very defensive or has their card up. It's like, but this is somebody that wants to communicate. They've been watching. They're very attracted to this person. It's like they really have feelings for this person. They're in their feelings about this person. They got a jealous partner, though, a very jealous partner. And this partner is very, very jealous of this Nine of Pentacles. So Sagittarius, you got somebody here that wants to pursue you. They want to take action towards you. It's like they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about your sex. Can't stop thinking about the time you had intimacy. You could be dealing with a Gemini or they think about sleeping with you a lot. Like, a lot. Um, <laughs> or they think about the time you slept together. But it's like, this is somebody that misses you. This person is in love with you. They got a very, very, very jealous, jealous partner. 
this person is extremely jealous of you because you're authentic, you're loyal, you're caring, you're loving. And this person is very deceptive. She's very disloyal. She's very jealous, like very jealous. And, you know, it seems to me like maybe you've decided to like, this karmic energy may have blocked communication or... I don't know if you try to reach out to this person or this person tries to reach out to you, but it's like the the communication has been blocked. Like somebody wants to talk, but they're blocked or the communication is blocked. And it's like, um, I don't know if it's because they're in a relationship or they're in a commitment here. So it's kind of like this karmic energy is always make this karmic energy kind of like controls everything this person does like they control everything this person does Ooh, they just try to do a lot here a lot huh no they got a lot to say most definitely so this person is very unbalanced here this person is stressing out she's paranoid because she feels like this person has been investing in you or she knows that this person has been thinking about you it's like i feel like she's very this woman is crazy like she's unbalanced like this she's so paranoid she can't sleep she's always thinking about this person sleeping with other people or this person is investing in other people she feels like he has to be investing in you he just has to be he just has to be cheating on you it's like i feel like she's driving herself crazy creating fake scenarios wanting to cut you thinking about hurting you it's like this is somebody that's very crazy because she knows that your person wants to invest in you she knows that your person loves you you love each other here you could have blonde hair or sandy hair and your person has like black hair or dark dark brown hair but she knows that your person wants to commit to you he's not committed to this person he feels like it's very unbalanced here it's like i feel like he wants to reach out to you he wants to come towards you and this karmic energy knows this this is why she's gonna try to hold your person back but i just feel like she knows that this person wants to make a decision when it comes to love so she's been stressing out like she's been driving herself crazy driving herself crazy yes because it's already like it's like this person is so jealous she's so envious she's very vindictive it's like bro like why would you want to be like you're an attractive man with a woman that's just so fucking jealous it's like how could you go out anywhere if this person is always trying to fight every girl you look at it's like he's not even attracted to this woman he finds her to be incredibly unattractive she's unstable it's like he doesn't want to be committed to her he's tired of this woman he's it's like he barely put in any work he's pretty much cheating on her or he only sleeps with her because she's she doesn't know her value it's like this is over with and she just she envies everybody like everybody that this person tries to get with she always trying to do something to them or make them move on like she always trying to push somebody out the way this girl is distorted like, she just don't know how to love herself she's very fucking toxic bro she talks a lot of shit she gossips She's stressed out. She's paranoid as shit. She's paranoid as fuck. It's like she she knows that she always playing the victim. It's like she plays a lot of mind games. And then when somebody it's like when somebody sees what she's doing, it's like she wants to play the victim. Like I didn't do that. Or, da -da 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 -da. After she manipulated you and called you out your name, tried to fight you, and then as soon as you do something, she's gonna cry to try to manipulate you. Like I don't know what you're talking about. I never did that. And then. Like she lies a lot, she tries to confuse you, <sighs> makes it harder for you to move on. She don't let you go. If you try to do, please tell her you try to leave or you try to move on, and she's gonna fucking beat your ass or try to be anybody that comes around with your ass. She's gonna threaten you and your family. She's gonna come try to come to your house to fight you. She gonna constantly text you, threaten you, try to do magic on you, think she's getting away with shit, try to talk shit about you to make you feel bad about yourself. She's gonna break you down. She's miserable. And she's stressed out here. It's like she's very fucking jealous. All she can think about is 
she's in a relationship, right? And she knows that it's an unhappy marriage or a relationship, but she can't stop thinking about the fact that, oh my God, he must love somebody else or he must be with somebody else when he's not even with you right now. Like, oh, he's with her. That's all they ever do. That's all she ever talks about. She doesn't put in any work. Oh, he's not at work. He's talking to you because this person is always watching you. She knows that he's watching you. It's like, this is very toxic. I don't know because you've been alone. You have not been bothering this person. You've been going your own route. You know, you've been finding yourself, loving on yourself, and it's kind of like you're like, bye. Like, you're really disappointed in this person and in this situation, so you're holding back. Like, you're not even focusing on this person. You've pretty much given up on this situation because it's like you're not going to allow somebody to keep juggling you. You're not going to allow somebody that keeps on making you, you know, when you have faith, this person do something that makes you lose faith again. It's like, you know, yeah, yeah, you love me, and yeah, we have options, but it's like, I'm not your option, okay? I'm not one of your options, so I'm done. Like, it's not going anywhere. Like, I don't know, you know, like, this is stuck. It's, it hasn't went anywhere. You've just been pretty much choosing to stay in a toxic situation you don't want to make a decision it's like i don't know what to tell you you know like you're committed to a situation where this person is very toxic you want out of it but you continue to deal with this person it's like i'm leaving that behind okay like i'm leaving that behind this is over with it's like i need to do something better with my life i'm tired of the selfishness it's not balanced here i'm done with this situation it's dead it's like there's no i feel like there is unrequited 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 there's no point in me to stress off of a situation when i clearly see that it's like i've been giving more feelings or showing more of my feelings than you have or it feels like I'm in this relationship by myself or it just feels like you know I'm not stressing a situation if we're not on the same page we're obviously not on the same page we both want different things so there's no point of stressing this it wasn't equal I'm done with this I put my foot down it's over you know I'm letting this go you're pretty much like you know it's like I'm done and I'm standing in my truth. I see that. I see that you want to invest or work on this. But it's like, come on, dude. I'm done. I communicated what I needed to say. I told you everything I needed to tell you. But I'm not satisfied. Like, I'm not interested. I'm actually very much not interested. Like, I tried to acknowledge you. I tried to be a friend. I tried to come in and be considerate. You ignored my gesture. So, you know, I'm going to lay it to rest and I'm going to just hold back my energy and turn my back on this situation. It's like, you know, this person is watching you now. And they're angry now. They're angry. Frustrated. Because they're really sitting here. After As the situation is over, they're starting to really, really evaluate what did they invest in. And they're starting to see, like, they've been putting in a lot of energy into a situation. But it's like, this person is still very jealous, still very vindictive, still ungrateful, still disloyal, argues a lot, tries to fight a lot. And it's like, they're done trying to move forward with this person. Like, she's just too jealous. Like, no she's a liar too she lies a lot she always thinks she's getting away with something and it's not working no more like i'm done fighting i'm done it's clear to see that i want to be happy so i'm gonna make a choice i'm gonna make a choice clearly because i'm tired of dealing with somebody that's just very deceptive or very vindictive or very lazy like i don't want that no more just the lovers in the same card. I don't really think you care though. Yep, this person's releasing a burden. They've been restoring balance here and now it's like they want to pursue this situation. They want to pursue you. Yeah, they've made their decision. But it's like you've kind of taken your journey somewhere else. It's like now they want to pursue you because they can't move on.
Yeah, but they got a very reckless female around that just, you know, stops everything. Like, this woman knows how to stop maneuver around this person. She'll fuck up their car if she have to, if they talk about leaving her. Like, this person is not letting you leave her no quicker than what it is. Like, I'm telling you, this lady is not going to let this man leave her easily. They don't know what they signed up for. Or this man... Ain't letting this woman leave easily. Because let's not forget, there is men I watch for women. This man is not going to let this woman leave easily. He's very jealous, very possessive, like very toxic. Like he always getting defensive. But he lying and cheating and being disloyal. What's going on? What's the outcome? Because... Somebody wants to get something off their mind. They want to get something off their mind here. But it's like. They feel rejected. So it's like. They don't know what to do. Yeah. I feel like. The feminine is letting this go. The feminine. Because. You're manifesting new in your life. You're letting it go. Like you just. You, you're accepting that this is a missed opportunity. You miss this person a lot. But. You're following your intuition. You're following your intuition. And you got a new beginning that's going to make you happy coming your way. Yeah. So that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope this gave you clarity. And I'll see you later. Bye.